what's up you guys welcome back today we're gonna do one of my favorite videos to film and I feel like probably one of um, your guys's favorite videos as well it is a new month which means I have a new bucket filled with random shit that I've used up and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and if I would buy it again spoiler alert I probably wouldn't it depends it really depends I don't eh. I feel like there's a good mix here of just random products. So I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna go in any particular order because otherwise we would be here for 10 years. I'm just gonna grab shit out of here and we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Everything will be linked down below as per usual. I always link everything down below. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this because it's, <laughs> it's a little doozy this time. Okay, so in the month of March, um, I used up quite a bit of stuff. I'm just gonna, we're gonna pull from the top. The first thing are these Skinny Dip London. These are the peachy ombre print nails. I picked these up uh, from TJ Maxx for five bucks. I don't know how much they normally cost, so I honestly don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I picked them up. I picked up this set and a marble set. This is a really cute set, but I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't repurchase these. They didn't last very long. Um, the other nails that I've been using have lasted much longer than this. And since we all know <laughs> that I can't do my own nails, um, and I don't, I hate the salon with a passion. This is kind of my option, but I didn't like this brand. I did like, I used these too. These were the Kiss uh, Salon Acrylic French Nude Nails. Um, these I did like, these I would repurchase. And I don't think I'd repurchase these. They didn't. They just didn't last as long as these did. Even with like the same glue, because I typically use the same glue, um, they just didn't last as long. Now I will say I feel like this is so much waste. And I talked about this in the last video too, or the last empty video I did. Um, and I, I I don't like that. Like the nails are bad enough, but then you've got all of this excess packaging and shit. And I don't like it. So I think I've seen on Amazon where you can just buy fake nails in bulk. Um, and I'm thinking about doing that. So if you've ever used those nails from Amazon, it, like let me know what you think about them down below because I would be very interested. Um, I, I I don't quite know. I think I did buy a set of them and I just haven't tried them out yet, but I feel like that'd be a lot better than these. Um, or another one. This is the Ardell Professional Nail Addict Premium. Oh, this is the set I'm wearing right now, actually. These I like so far. Uh, they're actually really cute. I don't like the fact that they're... They, they weren't matching, so it's like just, like I like the nails to be matching on both sides. I like both hands to look the same. This set didn't have that option, so I don't love that. Um, but the nails themselves are really good. I like this line, but once again, this is just the box, and it's got like this plastic thing on here, so I'm gonna have to tear that off to recycle this part of the box, and it just seems so unnecessary to me. So let me know if you've tried like the bulk sets that you can get on Amazon. Let me know what you think about those down below, because I'm very curious. Um, also, if you, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this is the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. I've been trying to use this up for so long. This has lasted me well over a year. It's finally empty. I don't know why I took that whole thing off. So this is like a heat protectant and a detangler all in one. Um, I didn't, I don't normally blow dry my hair, so I didn't really use it as a heat protectant um, in more than a couple of times. The detangler part, I mean, it works. It detangles well. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent of it. I probably would repurchase this in the future, probably, just because it's really hard to find detanglers for grown-ups. <laughs> so I probably would repurchase it, um, but only due to a sheer lack of um, others. I finished the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. This I freaking loved. Um, you guys, I've been trying so much Glossier stuff recently and I have been loving all of it. My only issue with this is there's still like a teensy little bit I can't get out of there because I can't reach it. But this is so good. It's just a really nice, gentle, everyday cleanser. It makes my skin feel clean. Um, and it just, it, it works. It's just a very basic cleanser. I would repurchase it in the future, um, but on a sale because it's pricey and I don't love that. And it's six fluid ounces, which I feel like is an okay size for a cleanser. I, I would purchase it on a sale, not for full price. I finished off one of my Sunday Riley Good Jeans glycolic acid treatment. <laughs> I used to love this stuff. I did. And I don't know if the formula has changed or what. I wasn't able to unscrew this past this point. So I couldn't get like the last little bit out. But I used whatever would like squirt out. 
I don't know if this, I'm assuming that I, this is after they've changed the formula because I just didn't feel like it did much for my skin. Not like the other stuff did. I almost felt like it was a little too harsh for my skin this time. And this used to be one of my favorite products. So, meh. I probably, I mean, unless they change the formula back, I probably wouldn't repurchase that again. I don't love it as much as I used to. Um, this is the R Co Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. This I did not use up. It's still in there. But the nozzle... Mmm, and I know that you can like warm it up like under hot water or whatever and it'll like open back up Um, I haven't done that yet. I probably will try. I can't normally ever get that to work for me I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'll probably try to do that as of right now though I'm considering it an empty It was it was okay not my favorite from R Co, but it's also not the worst, you know, it was just very there was a very large overwhelming scent to it, which I did not love. I finished off the Level Naturals Body Polish in Coffee and Sugar. For a body polish, this was actually pretty good. Oh, I love the scent of this so much. It smells so good. I would definitely repurchase this. I wish it came in a larger size tub, um, but you guys also know I don't normally try to repurchase body scrubs because I go through them so quickly, um, so I would love to repurchase it. I probably wouldn't just because there are other ones that come in larger tubs that will last me a little bit longer, but that makes me really sad because I really did like it. I liked it, and if I had any type of self-control whatsoever when it came to body scrubs, I would 100% repurchase it. Um, I just don't, so. I cannot pronounce the name of this at all. I'm going to put the name. I hope I'm putting it in the right spot. Um, but it's the Daily Green Protection Cleansing Water. This was okay. I didn't love it. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was okay. It didn't excite me. I was honestly at the end there, I was just trying to get through it. Which for me is a big sign that I don't really like it. Um, I finished the Refreshments Cleansing Face Wipes. These were gifted to me by Ipsy. Honestly, I liked these. I used these for uh, removing makeup swatches, and I really liked these. These are biodegradable as well, so if you are like me and you don't like the waste that comes along with like single-use wipes, these are a great choice because they are biodegradable. As far as repurchasing them goes, I probably won't just because I've switched to using like my cellar water and the makeup erasers to remove swatches and that's what I use the wipes for. Um, but if I, you know, get wipes and subscription boxes and stuff, I'm cool with it. Uh, but these were really good. I, I really did enjoy those while I had them. I used up the Not Your Mother's Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Sea Minerals Conditioner. This, there's still some in here that I can't get out. But because of this huge ass lip around the edge, I can't, I literally can't get it out. Oh, it smells so good, though. It's such, like, an ocean scent. Mmm, like, ocean and sea salt. I love it. Um, as far as conditioner-wise, it was a good conditioner. I liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase it in this bottle. This is 16 fluid ounces, and it has a pump. I'll be honest with you, I don't love the pumps. I feel like it takes forever to get the amount of conditioner that I want out of the pumps, and you can never, once you get to a certain point, you can't ever get the rest of it out, unless you, like, cut the whole thing open, and I'm not about to do that, because I'd cut my hand off. Um, but I do like this conditioner. I'd probably buy it in the tube. Ideally, one day in the future, they just make like a big refill thing for it because that's what I would really like. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a good conditioner. I just don't like this aspect. Shampoo and pumps, I don't mind because I only need like one or two pumps to get enough shampoo out. You know what I mean? Um, the formula 10.0.6. This is the No Rough Days Soothing Salt Soak Argan Oil and Coconut. I have no idea where I got this from. But I use this in a bath. Oh, it smells so... This genuinely smells phenomenal. It smells like a candy. I don't know what candy, but it smells like a candy. But it's like... I don't know. It's just such a, a beautiful scent, right? It was really relaxing in the tub. Um, this was four ounces. And it... I don't know if it made my skin feel softer. But I did like using it. So I probably would... I would repurchase this. I would. If I could get it... Like, I think this is a sample or something. I honestly don't know. I don't know where this came from, um, but I would repurchase it if I could get it in like a larger package than this, because this is just, it's wasteful. Okay, you guys, um, I used up the ink box tattoo. If you have been watching my videos, um, I got this in a haul, and then I did um, a what I thought about what I bought at a viewer's request. Uh, talking about what I thought about what I purchased in that haul and this got brought up because I bought it about six months ago And I was like I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna try out the tattoo and tell you guys what I think Okay, here's the thing number one. Um, I started making the video. I actually still have the tattoo on and it looks like trash I started making the video 
and I chose stupidly to put the tattoo on the back of my calf um, so it's very hard to film it and one of the instructions for this is that while it's like setting you can't sweat right you're not supposed to sweat because it makes it smear I live in Arizona so it didn't work out the greatest and it never like developed into like black ink so it still looks like the like the stencil looking thing I don't know I didn't like it I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to post the video because there it's so weirdly filmed and choppy and it just doesn't make any sense so I do apologize for that but I don't think I'd repurchase this again um, I wasn't able t to test it as much as I would have liked to because I sweat I live in Arizona um, I like the concept of it I feel like if I move out of Arizona I'll give it another try if I move to a less warm climate um, I'll give it another try because I like the concept and it seemed to be on the right track to working until I sweat all over it so I used up the Derma E vitamin C micellar cleansing water dude check this out I got this for 70% off at Target 388 a bottle I only bought one bottle they had a lot more um, I am kicking myself for not buying more and it's not because it was that great but because four bucks for a six fluid ounce bottle of micellar water is phenomenal. Um, here's the thing. This is one of those bottles. It doesn't really squeeze. You just have to kind of like dump it out, you know, and I don't like that because it, it's really hard to control it and I feel like I went through it quicker because of that. Um, now I once again I would still buy it for three dollars because you'd be crazy not to I wouldn't go out specifically searching for this though the product itself was good I liked it but the packaging you guys know I'm really weird about my packaging and this I don't like these types of bottles that don't squeeze in so I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason oh this has been a long time coming this is the this works deep sleep pillow spray two and a half fluid ounces you guys and this shit lasts forever I do a spritz or two on my pillow right now I'm using a Sunday Riley one I got like two years ago that I haven't used because I've been trying to work my way through this one but I'm very big into aromatherapy I love aromatherapy and I really think this stuff works I have a sleeping disorder this stuff doesn't like help that but I do feel like it's nice when I lay down knowing I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep anytime soon to breathe in the scent and it smells good and it just relaxes me and I do think that it's helpful for my mental state at the very least and this is my favorite one um, so this one I will definitely repurchase in the future I think I actually already have a backup of this even though I have a couple of other ones I need to get through. My absolute favorite, Holy Grail, 100% will repurchase. And these bottles last forever. Forever. Uh, ooh, I also used up the Kopari Lip Love. Um, this one I did not cut open, but I like squeezed out as much as I could, you know. It was a little greasy. I didn't like. It was a little thick. Um, it wasn't horrible. I'm using one currently that I hate much more than I would ever even possibly consider hating this one. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it though. It wasn't great, you know? It just, like there's so many other ones out there that I like a lot more than that one. I wouldn't repurchase that one. The Living Proof No Frizz Weightless Spray. Oh, I gotta stop buying Living Proof. I keep doing this to myself. I keep buying more and more and more Living Proof stuff because I want to like them so much and I don't. I don't. I hate that. I, none of their products work for my hair. Um, this one is is no exception. And you know what? I just saw Fat Fit Fun is having like another edit sale. And I just saw, what is it, a heat protectant from Living Proof. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. That's cheap. I want to try that. But then I was like, no. I don't know what that was. I was like, no, because it's Living Proof. And I'm not going to fucking like it. No. I used up the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I have more of these. Um, this was actually really nice. I liked this. It provided volume. It provided texture. Uh, I used this to kind of scrunch up my hair. I love the packaging of this. Um, I already have a backup of this, and I think I have a couple of, like, travel sizes, too. I, I would repurchase this 100% for sure. It's really good. It actually, like, it's really good. I liked it. Kyler ended up using another one of the Ulta Beauty Skin Soak Foaming Cleansers. I don't know why. I haven't been into foaming cleansers very much lately. Um, I don't know. So he's the one that's been using all of these. Again, I don't know why. I like this cleanser. It's a fine cleanser. 
um, and it's affordable and everything and it's nice. And this is hyaluronic acid and green tea extract, but I have a bunch of these from a while back and we're just trying to work our way through them now and he likes them. It's a good cleanser. I'd repurchase it. Uh, the Carol's Daughter, ooh, Sacred TR, anti-breakage and anti-frizz sulfate-free shampoo. I got this at TJ Maxx for $8. I don't love the scent of it. This is one of those weird products where I've used the whole thing and I still don't quite know how I feel about it. You know what I mean? Would I buy it again? I don't know, maybe. If I saw it again, I wouldn't go hunting for it though because I, I don't like it that much but I don't hate it either. It was okay. It did what it was supposed to do. It was a stand-up guy. It was okay. It was okay. I wouldn't marry it, but I wouldn't kick it out of bed in the morning. Why? Um, I finished, this is disgusting. This has had hairspray. This has like been in my hairspray range every day since I started using it and there's this disgusting film all over it. This is the Kahina Giving Beauty Toning Mist. I actually really liked this and this is a spray toner which I've been talking about how I've been getting into like into those more lately and it was because of this one because I used this one in the morning before I did my makeup and I was like oh my god this is so convenient. I love this. Um, I like it. It's good. It's a good toner. I believe this came in like a Sinu skincare box, if I remember correctly. And it was good. It was a good toner. It was nice. I'd repurchase it. Toner, you know? Tone. The Madison Reed uh, Radiant Hair Color Kit in 2.5 NNN Parma True Black. This is my hair. This is uh, what I used to dye my hair. I don't always use this particular color because they have a different black shade as well um, that I think is like a glossy black or a blue black or something like that. Uh, but Madison Reed is 100% what I use. I love them. And they, this, like, this hair care kit includes so much more than, like, the regular box dyes. Like, it is a box dye. But it includes so much more than the regular box dyes that you get at, like, the grocery store. I get mine from Ulta. So good, so freaking good, and it doesn't smell like most at-home hair dyes smell, and I think it's because it has no ammonia in it. I'm not 100% sure what gives like at-home hair dye that scent, but this does not have that scent. I love this, and it like your hair still feels soft and everything. Oh, I love that's my favorite. Can't talk enough about it. Um, I used up the Lush Orange Shower Scrub. Loved the scent of this so much. And I ended up rinsing this one out. I didn't, I completely missed the rim, but I'm gonna have to rinse the rest of it out because you can recycle these at Lush. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, but I didn't like the scrub. I didn't. This was four and a half ounces. I think this came in some Lush set that I got, but it was more like, I don't even want to call it a polish because a polish is normally very fine. And this was just, it was like an exfoliating body wash, I guess. I don't know. I didn't like it. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't scrub me well. It smells good. I would, I wouldn't repurchase it. Lush is too expensive to not love the product and I don't love that one. Um, oh, here's another one. I, <laughs> this is the Pacifica Lavender Moon Super Fizz Bath Tea. Um, I was actually really excited when I got this because I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. I like, try it. Oh, it smells so good. So this was literally, it was like this little, you know, tub and then inside were, I think, Four, yeah, four little tea bags with like aromatherapy and shit in them. Um, you put into your bathtub and the tea bag would disperse and things like that. Except none of the tea bags made it to the bathtub. They all popped in here and before I even touched it. So I went to go, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go use one. I picked it up, opened it up, and the tea bag on top has busted open. And I was like, oh, okay. So I picked it up, you know, kind of tossed it in what I could salvage of it. And it, that continued on and on and on. And so I lost like half of the insides of the tea bags and it was a mess, a disaster. I hated it. Um, I would not repurchase this. I don't recommend them. I don't know why they all broke. And I don't know if it was just like, it could have just been like this one. So if you've had a different experience, let me know if I should like try these again. But my experience with this was not a fun time. It was a messy time. I'm still working on that Lush shower gel that I've been working on, and I also opened up a sponge gel sponge, which by the way, I get it now. I've always been like, what's the deal with sponge gel? Why does everybody love them? It's not that great. I get it now, I do. And um, depending on 
what it looks like when I'm done with it. I might end up switching to that because that seems like a nicer way for the environment. We'll talk about it later. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. I don't know if you're supposed to throw away the whole sponge or if it starts to like disintegrate because I've never used one like to completion I guess. So we'll have to see how it goes, but so far I'm liking it and it's better than plastic. Now having said that, um, if you guys have been watching, Kyler has been trying to work his way through um, a lot of our Bath and Body Works shower gels because I have so many from over the years and I'm not, I don't like them because um, they dry out my skin. Anyways, so he used up two this man, think about this. I always say that he uses way too much body wash. He used two full-size Bath and Body Works body washes in a month. And the one that he has in the shower right now has mm, half of a use left for a normal person. So you know he's going to be done with that tomorrow. So that's three Bath and Body Works body washes in just over a month. I'm not crazy, right? That is an ungodly amount of body wash. No one is that dirty, right? And my, the man uses too much, he uses too much. Anyways, he used that black raspberry vanilla, which isn't my favorite scent. It smells harsh. It smells like it's disappointed in you. It smells okay, I'd use it, but it's not my favorite scent. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this one again. Um, he also used up strawberry pound cake, which this is so freaking good. Oh, it smells like strawberry shortcake and sugar. Mmm. I love this scent so much. This one, if I liked these, and like I said, I might repurchase them in the future too. I don't know. I need to find a good cruelty-free shower gel. But this one, I like this scent. This is good. I want this in a candle. Oh, so good. So good. I used up the Ole Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. This was gifted to me. Um, I think this is what was making me break out. I'm not kidding because I've stopped. I, once I start, oh, stopped using this, my breakouts started to go away, knock on wood. And it's not, like, my skin isn't perfect again by any means, but it's not nearly as bad as it was while I was using this. And I don't know what happened, um, but it was not good, and I don't like this. And it did nothing for my skin. It didn't help with, like, dark spots or anything. Uh, well, I take that back. I guess it kind of did. I didn't have a whole lot of dark spots. I guess the ones that I had have kind of faded, but the breakout, in my opinion, is not worth it. Um, so if... If you're good with high potency AHAs, you might want to give it a shot. Beyond that, I did not like it. I used up the uh, Dido Magnetic 3D Faux Mink Eyelashes. Um, I didn't actually use these up. I uh, was in the process of cutting them and I dropped one and lost it. Uh, so I only had one eyelash left. So I tossed them in here. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I don't know if I'd repurchase this or not. I still have another set I need to try out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not having good luck with eyelashes. This was a Lush mm, Snow Fairy shampoo bar. Uh, so limited edition from Christmas time. Y'all, I loved this. This is what got me into shampoo bars as a whole. Um, it was phenomenal. It lathered up and sudsed up so well. It smelled so good. My hair would smell like Snow Fairy all day. It doesn't smell like that now because I haven't used it. Um, but because of this, I purchased more Lush shampoo bars as well as shampoo bars from other brands so I could test out more because it was so much better than a regular liquid shampoo. 100% I would repurchase this. This particular scent is only available around the holidays, but I have already repurchased shampoo bars from Lush and shampoo bars from other brands, and I love it so much. Uh, I used up the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. I feel like this started to go bad towards the end because it started to get very thick and it was very uncomfortable on the skin. Um, I don't feel like it did much for me though. I don't know. I like Murad. This particular one though, I, I couldn't get on board with and it smelled really weird like the whole time I had it. It was a very like clinical type of smell. I didn't like it. I would not repurchase this one. I like Murad. I wouldn't purchase that one again. I used up a fortune cookie soap stretch out your finger bath bomb. This is that cute little cauldron bath bomb from the Halloween box. It was okay. I don't get the point of the cauldron though because you put the whole thing in the bath and it like bubbled out of the cauldron. Oh, it bubbled. Mm. Was that the reason? But then you were left over with this little plastic cauldron, which just felt kind of like a waste to me. So I, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I like Fortune Cookie Soap. I like their bath bombs. That particular one, I didn't love. I also used up um, a Life Around Angels 
mango papaya bath bomb. Mm, this one smelled good. It was just a very basic, like this is just a very simple bath bomb. It worked well and I like that it's wrapped in paper. I'd purchase it again. I have like a whole little gift set of them though. I think Kyler got it for me for Christmas. Uh, but I have like a whole little gift set of bath bombs from them. So I'm good. Uh, okay, there's only a couple things left. Uh, next we have the Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. This one I did cut open. Hey, this is what I was using in the mornings. Uh, like before I would do my makeup and everything. It was okay. I, I used up like well I had one of these go bad on me a couple months ago I think and so this is what I've been using since then because I had a couple of them for so long I was like oh yeah these are the greatest these are the greatest and the hype really is gone now like I've tried other stuff and now I feel like this is just like it's good it's a nice lip balm it's way overpriced for what it is but there's so many other better ones out there you know what I mean this one just didn't do much for me the last two things that I used up are hair products oh, that was so loud rude uh, the first one was the Trust Deluxe Prime Hair Reconstructor. Uh, I talked about this in that video that I did about Trust. This was to be used after shampoo and before conditioner or mask. First of all, I a couple months ago, last month, something like that, I used up a Trust conditioner and I had said that it was like the best hair care product I'd ever smelled. I loved it and I wanted to see if the other products smelled like that. They do. I'm currently using the Trust shampoo. Oh my. It's so freaking good. It's so good. Um, absolutely phenomenal. So I used this. I didn't love it. This one I just don't feel like did much for my hair. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. But the shampoo and conditioner, holy shit, they're amazing. Also, I used up three little sachets of the Foxy Bay Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask. I have like a little box of like a bunch of these little sachet things. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. First of all, for my hair length, I have to use two, um, which I don't love. Or, well, it's like one and a half, right? But it's almost two. And it's such a waste to me because it's so much of this, right? And you can't get all the products out of there. I don't like it. Um, I don't, it's such a waste. And it doesn't do as much for my hair as some of like, like the tub ones do or the tube ones do, you know? This is just kind of lackluster. Like, it's okay. It hydrates my hair, but there's so many better ones out there that are not as much waste. So, so that's everything, you guys. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Me rambling on for a half hour about what smells I like and don't like and my packaging preferences. Hopefully, though, it was helpful. Let me know down below what you all have used up this month. No, nope, last month, March. Let me know what you guys use up in March. Let me know if you liked it or not. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if we agree or disagree on our feelings about them. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure you give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button below me. If you'd like to see more of me, I understand. You don't have to. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.